Hey Nerdy Knitters! In this video we're going to look at five beginner projects for knitting in the round. If you're a new knitter and you've just tackled your knits and your purls and casting on, binding off, maybe a knit two together or a yarn over, and you're ready to start knitting in the round, things like hats or mittens or socks, this is the video for you. We'll look at five projects that you can use to get started with learning how to knit in the round. And be sure to stick around because I'll show you all the different options for knitting in the round, all of the needles you can use, and I'll demonstrate how exactly to knit in the round, how you join in the round and start knitting something. But before we do that, let's look at our five patterns that will help you get started with knitting in this way. First is a photo tutorial from Church Mouse Yarns, their ribbed beanie and hand warmers pattern. Now it's a pattern, but it's also a photo tutorial that focuses on teaching you how to knit in the round. And the sizing is really forgiving. Ribbing is really stretchy. So beanie and mitts that are knit this way will fit a large variety of hand and head sizes. And if you really love mittens, the next pattern might be for you. The World's Simplest Mittens from Tin Can Knits. This comes in a variety of sizes from toddler up to large adult hands and it comes in four different yarn weights. So no matter who you're knitting for and whatever yarn you have laying around your house, you can knit a pair of mittens with their tutorial. Now the next pattern is a great idea for a small gift or if you just like something fashionable sticking out of the top of your high boots. These boot cuffs from Simply Notable. They're really very simple. It's just a simple rib pattern and then a waffle stitch pattern which is still the same rib pattern, but every third round you're purling instead to give it a little added texture. So you can work in the round, work a purl texture pattern and have a cute little fashionable accessory. Cowls are also a great project for learning to knit in the round. They're not a small circumference, so it's actually probably a little bit easier. And the oats cowl from Tin Can Knits comes in two sizes. It's ribbed, it has plain stockinette with a section of garter stitch, so there's a little bit of interest and texture there. And like all the patterns in their learn to knit section, they have tutorials that walk you through each step of the way. This last recommendation comes from a comment that was left on a previous post about beginner patterns for knitters. Leanne recommends the Ross hat from Smell Great Guy, who's here on YouTube, I'll put a link right here. She was pleasantly surprised and proud of herself for completing several of his hats. Now his hat pattern includes a simple rib and then it's worked in stockinette and it looks like a simple swirl top. And it comes in four different yarn weights. So if you like to knit hats, give the Ross hat pattern a try. Now all of these patterns are linked down below if you want to check them out. Now let's take a quick look at the many ways you can cast on a knit in the round. You can use 16 inch needles to make hats and smaller circumferences, circular needles. I'll demonstrate how to join in the round in a second. You can use longer circular needles, one for magic loop or two circulars for the two circular method. And you can use double pointed needles. I've got lots of different ones here. And there's even these flexi flips needles which are another option. I'm actually knitting a sock on some right here. It uses the third needle to work across the stitches, but all of your stitches are just held on too, which is a bit simpler than trying to wrangle four or five needles. And if you really want to dive deep into circular knitting, this is a great book by Margaret Radcliffe. Look for a circular knitting workshop. Now to join in the round, you'll have your stitches cast on just like this. And you might want a marker to place the beginning of round. The first thing you want to do is check your cast on and make sure it's not twisted all around the needle. I've got all of mine going right along the inside edge right here. Now to join in the round, you look for the one needle that has the, the yarn attached to it. Oh, that's the tail. There's my yarn right there. That one goes in your right hand. Get that tail out of the way. And the other needle goes in your left. The stitches that are going to be joined. You can scoot them right up onto your needle. And a lot of patterns will tell you to place a marker for the beginning of round. So I have a marker here. Just pop it right on that right needle. And now I'm going to join my right stitches to my left stitches. And all I have to do to do that is knit. 
there's my yarn over here, insert into my first stitch on my left needle, wrap and knit the stitch. And I tend to give that one a tug and the next one a little tug as well to tighten up the gap. Because you may find after you knit a few rows that right where you joined is a bit of a gap. But just work the first few rows a bit tight right there and then you can use your yarn tail to weave in the end. Now there are other methods for joining in the round but that really is the simplest one. Just make sure the yarn is attached to the needle in your right hand. Your new stitches are in the left and you just start knitting across and knitting around and make sure that your cast on edge doesn't get tangled and twisted around or you'll have a twisted cast on and you'll have to take that out and redo it. So if you're a new knitter and you've just explored your knitting and your purling and you're adding some new textures and you're ready to start knitting in the round, jump right in. It's not that hard. It's really simple. Start with a cowl or a hat if you know how to do some decreases. Follow one of these patterns and it'll walk you through each step of the process. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have a recommendation for a pattern that would be great for beginners for knitting in the round. And be sure to subscribe if you like to get nerdy with your knitting.